What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Daddy's Workshop. So today we've got a fun one for the kids to do. We are going to teach them how to make dowels. Now I know what you're thinking. What's the point of making dowels? You can go to Home Depot, you can go to Lowe's, you can go to one of the big box stores, and you can buy dowels for a couple dollars for like 15 or 20 of them. And I gotta be honest with you, for a long, long time I did that. But then when I started making furniture, I wanted the dowels to match the wood. So if I was using walnut, for example, I couldn't find walnut dowels unless I went to one of those really expensive wood stores, which I do love to go to, like Rockler or Woodcraft. And then they were not a few dollars for 15 or 20. They were much, much more. So I talked to a friend of mine. This is a piece of A2 stainless steel. It's half an inch thick. And I had him drill the different sizes of holes um, in here. I believe we've got, oh, I'd have to double check on this size. It's probably around three quarters of an inch. Or sorry, probably closer to uh, a little bit more than three quarters of an inch. Then we're probably around three quarters. Then we're probably around half, etc. And so today, so today we're going to go ahead and make our traditional quarter inch dowels, which is what I have sitting right here. So what I did to make this easy for everybody, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> is I have a very old bandsaw it's from the 60s. It's a 10 inch Rockwell Delta, and on it I put a half inch resaw blade, and I've got a couple more down there as you can see, and there's a couple of test cuts. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you, we make these blanks, we basically run them through the saw like so, and I'll show you how I do that. We then go ahead and cut them into this length. We pop them in, in the chuck of our drill here, all right, our DeWalt XR. We then give them a little sanding here with some sandpaper, and then we let the kids Go ahead and smash them all the way through here. So let me show you how I do that. So I have a board here, and this is not going to be the, the, the easiest way to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and try to show you uh, some way of, of, of setting this up. Here's our board, piece of uh, reclaimed lumber, hint, hint, pallet wood, and we're going to go ahead and run it through here. Okay, so this is our piece of wood, and you'll notice it is thicker and bigger than what we actually need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it through here. Now we're gonna use the two cut method. So the two cut method is something that I've seen Jimmy Duresta do multiple times. Uh, he's got a great channel if you guys are looking for more kind of how to build things. He's a, he's a great one to, to watch. He's been doing this for a long, long time. I'll leave his, uh, his link in the description for his channel. But basically he likes to run the boards halfway through, pull them out, flip them around, and then finish that way. Um, you do this for tight, tight spaces and if you, if you have a really long piece to do, but for, for me, you'll notice I have a wall right here. Uh, even though this piece is short enough, I, I kind of want to show you guys how the method's set up. So this is, uh, this is a half horsepower system. Again, it's a 10 inch. So I lift up, or I sorry, push down. So you notice I made that cut just like so. It went all the way through, and now I'm gonna flip it 90 degrees and I'm gonna make the cut again. So now you can double check your piece if you want, but you'll notice it still goes ahead and cuts all the way through. So now I'm gonna cut these into a couple little pieces. I'm then gonna turn them into dowels like this and I'll walk you through how to put the sucker in there. All right, so it's in here and we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna hold it with our hands and we're gonna run it through just like so.
forgive me, I'm, I'm doing this without a tripod. I'm probably gonna have to get one of those. Basically, you just wanna run it all the way through. And you see how we're getting that edge there? That's what we want. much have our edge now and now what we want to go ahead and do is pop it into here like so and we want to just give the quick hammer all the way through all right guys so that was a colossal failure on my point part my fence here my homemade fence that I made uh, several years ago decided to go ahead and shift so I actually had to take my test dial and make sure that it fit in there you'll notice it does it's 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 quite snug so I had to recut my piece so that I could actually go ahead and set this up properly so now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this system on my dock and you can see that this is coming Now when we pop it into here, we've got a much better system set up for us currently right now. So that's how it's supposed to go ahead and run. It's supposed to be able to fit in there. And you see how that looks? That's what it's actually supposed to go ahead and do. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna pull this off of here. I'm gonna put it in there and then we're gonna start hammering. So this is how this system looks and I need two hands to pull this guy out, but uh, it's it's not that bad. The first couple of dowels that I made, you'll notice this one's a little bit jacked up. I use and I put in here, and I just go ahead and hammer that sucker out. And again, I need to get a tripod. If uh, if I had both of my hands, I'd show you how I take this right up. But literally, I'm just going to hold it here. I'm going to hammer it in. You can see right there how it actually looks. It's depressed down in there right now. So I will finish taking the dowel, pushing it all the way through, and then catching it when it hits the ground. All right, and there's our dowel. Now, I'm using pine to do this because my children are not that strong. They're five and six. Um, normally, I would pick some, see, I've got cherry up there, I've got red oak, I've got uh, white maple, I've got a bunch of other um, pallet wood over there that I like to use to make furniture. Okay, there's some Dougie fur up there too. So we're gonna we're gonna then go ahead in our next video. You notice here on my workbench that I've got these screws in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the screws out, and then we're gonna take our dowels and we're gonna I'm gonna walk you through how to do this. You're gonna use these as uh, your joint. You're gonna pop them in here with a little bit of glue, hammer them in. Then we're gonna flush uh, trim, cut them off, and then we are done. So I'm going to finish setting some of these up, get some of them ready for the kids, and then we'll bring the kids out and we will let them hammer. All right, everyone, we got our dowels ready. See how they're ready to go. We're going to go ahead and grab some of the kids. We're going to have them come out. We'll let them use the hammer. By the way, my kids make hammers. This is mine, but I've got one of theirs floating around here somewhere. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have it out for them so that they can go ahead and use it. And I hope you guys enjoy. Good job, kid. Keep going. No, keep going. Oh. You're doing it. It's getting. Anyway. It's in there. Keep going. <laughs> Go on. Here, you want me to help you start? Yeah. There we go. All right, it's in there. Keep going. No, you. Keep going. Hazel, you want to help your sister? Okay, take your hammer. have to be safety and safety first in here. Well, I didn't do that. Well, you did half of that. Mm -hmm. You did. 
Good job. You guys want to do another one? Yeah. All right. Look at Can that. I do the next one? Put your glasses on, Isla. Look at that. She's doing a good job. Good job.